it's 7 30 i just slept through an hour of my alarms but i need to get ready and leave to go to halong bay bam okay and i have 53 minutes left until my bus leaves so luckily this hotel actually they're allowing me to keep one of my luggages here which i'm so grateful for because i don't think i want to go explore the islands or the bay with this ratchet <laughs> luggage and i still actually didn't get a new luggage it's still broken a broken wheel and it's cracked bringing two backpacks my camera bag and my everyday bag and all of my toiletries are in there in the last four days i've drank so much water or maybe i don't know if that's a lot but okay room i'll miss you let's go come on see you on 10 all right, so I just called my grab car and I'm on my way over to the bus stop. So actually, I'm planning on heading over to Holland Bay for three days and then I'm actually coming back to Hanoi for one day. So I don't know what I'll do after that. I'm thinking I'm going to Sapa after that, but we'll see. But this hotel, they're so good to me. They agreed to just keep my stuff until I come back. So now we wait for the grab driver. I found him across the street. Xin chào. Xin chào. Ah, Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> okay, ready. <laughs> This is my first time on a bike with two backpacks. Sometimes I see people holding like homes on bikes, so this is my test if I could handle it. All right, Halong Bay, here we come. Okay, yay. Yes, I think so. Is it a uh, bus? Okay. Come on. Oh. Okay. Okay, come on. Can't be it. Bye. All right, I just got over to the bus stop. I think this is it. Let's see. That's a window. Uh, bus? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got for the bridal about 20 or 50 minutes. Third, okay. Okay, okay. Do you have bathroom? Alrighty, I just got myself some food before heading over to the bay, and the van just came right now. It's going to be a packed bus, they said. Nine people. So, get in. Okay. I was the last person here. And I think now we're actually on our way to go pick up more people. So, actually these guys are not as bad as I thought. So this is also interesting too, that they give everyone towels here. Or maybe these are blankets to sleep in, but these buses are pretty clean. They give you water, there's a garbage can, you can sleep here, there's AC, and it seems like the drivers are on time. I was the latest one because I was getting my food. I was probably five minutes later than departure time. But we're supposed to get over to Hongbei in about two to two and a half hours, including bathroom break. So right now it's 11.09 and i'm going to eat my food because i didn't eat and i don't know when i will eat i think we picked everybody up and we're currently on our way there's a little bit of traffic but 
usually when I travel, I take the time to catch up with my friends. So I'm calling Phil right now. Phil is one of my friends I met over in LA and he's one of the only other people I know who's done Southeast Asia, like traveled all around. So let's see if he picks up. Oh my god, Sun Chow! Wait, do you want to say hi to my camera? So it's about half an hour in and we just made our first stop here. I don't really have to use the bathroom and I don't know how many stops that they're gonna take here. But there's food you can buy, bathroom, toilet, snack. I haven't even touched my food yet since we got to the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> Only one person knows why I'm laughing. <laughs> I need to stretch. I'm gonna be in this bus for another like hour and a half. <laughs> Okay, this is my stuff. Just head over to home bay. Oh wait, let me get my bag. <laughs> I think that is a smart move. It's drizzling a little bit, but the ride wasn't too bad. We did make a couple of stops for people, but <laughs> oh my god. Okay, sorry. Here? Okay, thank you. Come on. Alright, let's go in. Okay, so I just got over here to the bus stop here in Halong Bay. However, the lady was saying how my hotel is too far away for the taxi to just take me. And my hotel is about 12 minutes driving, about 6 kilometers. But she was saying how there's also no taxi up here. So there's no Grab, there's no Z, no Gojek or anything. So she's calling a taxi from here right now. And I think it'll cost me about 100,000 dong, which is like $4. But there's no other way for me to actually get over to the hotel. And I don't really want to take the bus because I still would have to walk. But I'm just waiting for the car right now. And see if the rain will stop anytime soon. Okay, that was pretty fast. My driver came. Okay, come on. Okay. I hope he doesn't overcharge me because I'm a foreigner. We just got into my taxi. We're on our way to the hotel, and it's a little rainy. I hope it does stop soon, but the forecast this week looks like it's going to rain the entire week. But thankfully, I brought my rain jacket with me. I actually bought it over in Ho Chi Minh City because it was raining every single day. So I wanted to buy one just in case for occasions like this. And I'm very happy that I bought one. It's rainy season. So you guys are here in Vietnam during this time in June, July. It's rainy season. <laughs> Just made my way over to my hotel. Cost me 85,000 dong, which is a lot less than I thought it was. First glance, this place kind of reminds me of Busan, Korea. It's just like a city vibe combined with an ocean. <laughs> and the vibes are just pretty similar like i'm excited to go out and explore more of this place i need a bike though okay anybody here hey. hello anybody here Let's see if someone's here. 
Uh, hello. No. Check checking in. And I have successfully got to Hong Kong Bay. That was a trip, but it's currently 2.16 and it stopped raining, which is good. And it's really cloudy. I don't see any peaks of sky outside, which is a good thing actually, because as long as it doesn't rain, I can just throw up the drone whenever. So I'm gonna kind of walk around and see what's around this area. To be honest, I don't really know where exactly to go first here in Halong Bay, and I know there are tours out here, but I'm gonna see if I can navigate my way through this area by myself first, and then I'll probably come across people who want to sell me tours. But with all that being said, so if you're trying to get to Halong Bay from Hanoi, it's actually pretty simple, and I actually got my bus ticket the day before my bus, so actually yesterday I got my ticket and thankfully there's availability there has been some buses where they've run out within 10 minutes of me searching so if you're planning a trip to Hong bay from hanoi i used book away and it was really simple it was 15 dollars for me there were some that were cheaper but i couldn't really find a good time that i wanted to come here and in my particular van there were a total of nine people you might have vans where you have less people or if you want a private car obviously if you pay more you can do that as well but my trip was pretty easy there was one stop uh, for a bathroom break and to get food and there were people who actually got dropped off along the way so we made about three stops to drop people in different areas but i was one of the last people to get off the bus and my taxi here cost me three dollars and 67 cents which is eighty-five thousand dong but I'm gonna go out and see if I could go find a bike right now because there are no taxi apps out here and I think the best way to get around somewhere like Hong Bay is probably a bike. That trip in total took around three hours or so, not even. Um, so yeah, again, if you're planning on coming to Hong Bay from Hanoi, it's super simple and I already have my bus schedule to go back so i won't get lost here on purpose <laughs> all right so i'm gonna go out and change but i will see you guys later in hong bay <laughs>